Right, so just behind us here we have uh, a small group of elephants. We've just heard them calling um, and we, I could hear a few more down in the distance. But what's really fascinating about this one is it is a tiny baby. Days, if not one day old. It really is small. It's actually trying to drink at the moment and it's so small that it has to try and crane to actually get to the nipple. It is incredible to see these things when they're so young and doing their thing. Now, at the moment, we've had a huge amount of rain here at Sabi Sabi Private Game Reserve, and it means that there's a lot of good grass growth. But at the same time, um, there is another food source that these elephants love, which is marulas. Now, marulas form a huge part of the diet. There's even a couple of theories to suggest that males might hold the territory over this time around the marula trees because of the fact that the herds will move in to try and take advantage of these energy filled packs of um, fruit, vitamin C rich. Now they eat so many and because their digestive systems are really fast, it takes between four to six hours from entry to exit that the high vitamin C content and the movement through their body actually gives them a bit of diarrhea and what they will do is they'll actually use this tree over here, this very silvery tree called the silver cluster leaf, which is high in tannins to be able to self-medicate and to slow the gut down so that they don't overdo it. Earlier we saw this elephant bull going up and he was actually using the, he pushed, he, would, he leant up against the tree and pushed the tree to try and dislodge some of the fruit from the top because everything's trying to get to it. First of all, us, we love the things. Warthogs, um, monkeys, baboons, uh, bushbuck, everything tries to get to these fruits. So there's quite a lot of activity around them. So folks, we saw that beautiful herd of elephants yesterday. Um, and then this morning we watched that elephant bull walking through the grass plain, walking up to a specific tree, which we're actually shaded by at the moment, called the marula tree. Now, at this time of year especially, um, sort of early on in the year, March, April, May, through until the rest of the year, there are some of these fruits lying in the ground. But specifically in February and March, they ripen and the elephants go crazy for them. Now, we've got some elephant dung here, which I'm going to show you a little bit more about. You can actually tell the age of an elephant dung by, you get the, maybe three or four days old, uh, moisture content, all of that. I'm just kidding. So basically, what we've got here is we've got some elephant dung. You can see it's elephant dung, uh, separate from rhino dung. It's got some bark in it, um, as well as leaves and grass. But the special thing about this dung at the moment as you can see here, if you open it up and you look at it like that, is you've got the fruit of this marula. Now, six or seven times higher in vitamin C than an orange, um, but it's mainly pit. So an elephant has got to drink or eat a lot of these to get whatever it needs out of them. And the elephants will sit and they'll walk underneath this tree and they'll pick them up and they'll flick them into their mouth, crush them once, swallow, and then They'll just mush around inside for, as Rich pointed out yesterday, four, five, maybe six hours and then pass them through. Very high in sugar as well. So elephants this time of year have a little bit more energy than they do other times of year. Um, but the, the important thing about this is that when elephants eat this, it passes through their GIT, their gastrointestinal tract, and the emulsification and, acidic, and acidity in their stomach breaks down the, the cellulose around the seed, which allows it to then germinate and grow into another tree. So without elephants, this process doesn't occur, and that's why it's a very cool symbiotic relationship between the tree and the elephant.